So uh, Dylan, there's there's a bunch of people who who had small accounts here that built them up to six and seven figure accounts. Um, so I think I, I think they would be much better to give you, you follow what I'm saying, to give you any type of tips. I just don't know how to. No, it's not that. No, it's not, it's not to do about the money. It's just the point of I've. I started out in prop, so so capital was never an issue for us. You follow what I'm saying? It was never an issue for us. That's the whole point. It was never an issue. Anybody who ever tra traded prop, that's all they know is capital was never an issue. I, I think I think swing. I, yeah, I, I think what, what Steve's saying is makes a lot of sense. Um, swinging swinging the pivots. So Dylan, when there's a when there's a pivot on the table like a Tesla, let's just say above eight eighty one, right? Like you want to take the value trades with the highest probability of a measured potential. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to, you, you really want to wait for those big measured potential trades. You know what I'm saying? Like you really, really want to wait for those big measured. Like you can't, you can't trade every day. That's for sure. You know what I mean? Like you definitely can't trade every day. Um, that's for sure. The key is to embrace the process and, um, and just wait, wait for these like put it this way, like Apple over 38 in this lifetime of the next, Dylan, like you see what I'm saying? Like Apple, right? If Apple wakes up in this lifetime of the next above 138, right? Then you can swing it, you know, then you could swing it for, you know, for like six, seven points, right? Because here's your whole macro channel into a possible move to the, you know, possible move to the upside. But yeah, you, you want to wait for measure potential. Like not everything has measure potential. That's the whole point. That's why trading, unfortunately, is so is so difficult for a lot of traders who have smaller capital, because they just want to. Well, number one, you're you're constantly fixated with the idea of social media press, social media press, social media press, social media press, 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 press social media press. Go home run, diamond hands. We will hold you know all the shit that you don't need, right? All the shit that you don't need, and you should and you should remove from your life. Um, and the unfortunate part is when you, when you embrace all that noise, right, when you embrace all that incredible unnecessary noise, you're not sticking to the big picture. And the big picture is you can't trade every day, number one. And number two, you can't trade every single day when you have a small account. Okay, so you, ha you really have to wait for value. So when you're looking at a trade, for example, like, um, um, like a Zoom, or, or I'll even give you a better idea. Dylan, I'll even give you a better idea that will give you a better bang for your buck. Right, Dylan? You see, that, you see how a lot of these small cap stocks have big aggressive option flow, right? Like OGI? Take those trades, right? Like, obviously not here, but we, we were long OGI right here, right? I was long OGI right here, and the reason why I started buying it, because buyers came in for the $5 calls, right? So you have, you have option flow, correct? You have option flow coming into your name. So anytime you see a stock with really big option flow, right, coming out of a channel, those are the ones you want to concentrate on. So even if you buy one little, you know, even if you buy a thousand little shares, right, even if you buy a thousand little shares and the stock goes up, you know, a dollar, 50 cents, that's how you could build up your account. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how you can really, really build up your account very, very quickly. The problem is that type of market, right? That type of market is not around all the time. Like, like you know, I tweeted out last week and I said, look, when this is all said and done, you better have, right? You better have a chair because correct me if I'm wrong, the last time we had a market like that, it was 20 years ago, right? It was 20 years ago. So the moral of the story is when you have a market like this, and, you know, again, we're in the market like this, right? It's very, very important to understand what you have, you know, what you have in your disposal. So when you see big option flow coming into small cap stocks, I would definitely do those, right, guys? For all you guys who traded OGI on uh, either equity or uh, either equity or um, – options, right? Was that not the play to go, right? Option flow, out of the money calls, that's a great that's a great recipe. It's putting peanut butter and jelly together. Right? That's a great great recipe. Delta Sandy pop up. 
Yeah, absolutely. But other than that, man, um, I, I just don't know. Yeah, yeah, TRXC was another one. I just don't know. Even, Dylan, even, even, a, tr even a stock like UEC, right? Even a stock like UEC yesterday, right? Even a stock like UEC yesterday, for example, right? There was order flow that came in. Order flow came in for the $3 calls. And it went from 316, 317 to 330 today, right? So even if you're trading 500 little shares, 1,000 little shares, you can make 100, $100 $200, and, just, and you're waiting for that catalyst. You're waiting for that order flow. So I think if you're very patient, you could do very, very well with pivots, right, until you start building up your account. Um, and we've had a lot of people – with less than ten thousand dollars, I mean, there's tons of people here in the room that, you know, over a year or two years, they you know they went to six, seven figures in their account. So, it, it could be done. I just don't know how they did it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's and that's the complete honest truth. I just don't know how, right? Like Larry started with like five grand. He's like mid six figures now. It, it's not easy, but it's doable. It's definitely doable. It's just I don't know how they did it. You follow what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how they did it on a day to day. Yeah, there's a lot of discipline involved, right? There's a lot of discipline involved. Um, a lot. There's a lot of discipline involved. Um, and we had the, the recent conversation I had with Richard, you know, a couple of months ago, went from like three to five grand to over the pattern day trading rule, right? He didn't do it overnight. He did it with a lot of discipline. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a, it's a lot. It, it's so much harder taking your account from 5,000 to 30 than it is from 30,000 to 100. It's just the reality. Just because, just because, you, you, just because you're, you're, you're so tight because of your capital, you know, it's very, very tough to emotionally you know, let go of everything. It's much easier to let go of everything when you have $200,000 and you have $5,000. Um, so yeah, I, I, I wish I can help you with that. Um, there's plenty of people who are great people in here. That, that's the one thing that everybody here helps everybody out. Um, also, uh, Kenyon, on 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 the website, I think I think Larry, I think Larry and Matt did something, right? I think Larry and Matt did something on on the Access to Trader website. It's on the website in the members area that explains how they did it via options. Yeah. So Dylan, if you go, if you go, Kenyon, can you just tell them how to how to how to get how to access it? Um, they, they'll tell you because they both started with under. I think both started with under fifteen thousand dollars. I think Matt had like right. Matt Matt had like twelve, and Larry had like five or seven grand, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll they'll you know they'll they'll definitely give you some good some good nuggets how they, how they did it. But it's definitely doable because I get emails all the time. Hey Dan, I just turned five into blah blah blah, or you know. So I, I get it all the time. I just I I just don't know how to do it. You know what I mean? Like, again, somebody said a long time ago, hey, Dan, why don't you try to do, you know, take five grand. And I'm like, how? How would I do that? Like, how can I possibly take five grand and turn it into 25? Like, how would I do that? Or maybe I trade 11 shares of Tesla? Like, how am I, like, how am I personally going to do that? And oh, by the way, who's going to pay my bills in the process? Well, my diamond hands, of course. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of the, that's kind of the deal. <sighs> it is, this is the best way of saying it. Unfortunately, this is a business that you do need capital. You really do. You do need capital. Um, you need a lot of it, right? But as as we've seen, people you know do have you know really good success in a longer period of time that they could accomplish that, right? Maybe not go from five thousand to half a million, but maybe go from five to fifty, right? Everything is everything is in stages. Before you can make, you know, five hundred dollars, you have to learn how to make fifty. Before you can learn how to make fifty, you have to learn how to make twenty, right? And on and on and on and on. So, um, you know, it's tough. It's 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 a very tough business. It's a very very hard business.